We're at the um, possum shed, possum shed. <laughs> with a dog chasing the possums. Hi, I'm Kayleen and this is my husband Mark and our rescue greyhound girl Missy. Last year Mark decked out our Ford Ranger with roof racks, solar panels, fridge freezer, pantry, drawers and even a shower. So now we can travel totally off grid. Join us each week as we explore Australia. Mark shares his knowledge of tips and tricks and how to have fun traveling with a greyhound. Subscribe to our channel and join the adventures. over it or something or is that just the dirt it must be the dust okay pretty but you wouldn't swim here this has to be the start of Cockle Creek and you've got a little outhouse as well and these are all the way down there are so many people camping which is just so great to see you've got little, you just can't camp on the side of the beach you've got to camp on the opposite side of the road So we've come down to what is called Cockle Creek and it's the most southern point of Tasmania and the most southern point of Australia. You can do a walk to either even further down um, but that takes about four to five hours. I love it here it says the end of the road accommodation. Okay so we got this map from Hastings Caves and Thermal Springs but it was too late in the day. We didn't even know it was there. And you've got to book about five days in advance um, because that's how busy they are. So this is the far south of Tasmania. So then you come down to here and we have come past Catamaran and then we have come down, we can come down to Cockle Creek, which is here. But then to do this walk and the Southeast Cape, that is the most Southern tip. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be coming back into Southwest National Park. Oh wow, long vehicle turnaround section. Did you see the lightning? A big crack of lightning just went down. And this is the Na National Park. Yeah, it sounds like there's a storm coming. Look at this. So yeah, even big turning lanes. Missy can't get out of the car here because we're now in the national park, but she's she's in the side of the car. Because we're 
So you can come out to the South Cape, you can go up here. No rainwater tanks, so water can be collected from streams and rivers. There's the South Cape. So you come out here and they've got some nice toilets and they've got, here, here we go. This tells you about some of the walks. So you've got the South Cape Bay, four hours return. The South Coast Track, six to eight days one way. Wow. And then you, re you do a registration here at the Information Centre. All these little things we're finding. And this was just told to us by the lovely girl who worked at Frank Ciders. So we just thought we'll take a day trip down and drive. It's so beautiful. Nice pull up facilities here. Rainwater tanks, little walking spot down here. The little inlet. You can hear all the kids playing. There's so many families camping along the way. It is just amazing. It's so good to see people out and about in the outdoors having fun. It was impressive lightning, wasn't it? Me and the dog. Watch beef jerky. Even the dog loves it. Heard you met Mike. Met Mike, good bloke. Mike Epp. <laughs> really good beef jerky. What makes it so good? Well, it's not as dry as most beef jerky is. And the cracked pepper, I don't know what he does with it, but it's really nice. And you get a good 900 gram or 90 grams in it. 900 90, grams would be 90. huge. <laughs> so it's a steak in a packet. What do you think? Did you get new toys today? Some mummy bought you, spoiled you. You got a new bed this trip. And new soft toys. Happy puppy. So not Southport in Queensland on the Gold Coast. This is Southport down on the Huon Valley, which is just on our way back, another inlet town. And we thought we would let Missy out, walk along the beach. Just pretty. Hi. Missy's liking the beach, kids along the water. We're at the um, possum shed, possum shed. <laughs> with the dog chasing the possums. Chasing the possum, you're so funny. Yeah, yeah. Do you love it? Entry, VIP entry only, very important pooches. Servants must register at the front counter before entry. Good on you, you're the servant. Well done. I'm carrying a bag, aren't I? <laughs> The Possum Shed, gorgeous little place for coffees, um, breakfast, it was beautiful food, looking out over the river. Tasmania is going to be coming to 
to an end today. It's a sad day. We don't really want to go home. But we're going to be heading from here back up to Devonport. We're, we're in the highlands of Tasmania and you can tell by the, the tree growth that's around and um, yeah, the, the, the texture of the ground and everything. And uh, these guys actually get snow on the first day of summer this year. So um, yeah, it's quite spectacular Tasmania in relation to the weather and there's beautifully dotted little cottages and churches around the place. Absolutely. It's a spectacular drive. Absolutely. It's been gorgeous, like all the little spots where we saw heaps of sheep and they were running in lines. It was a classic. Um, and the air is just so fresh and clean and the, the sky is so blue. Just and it's a balmy 16 degrees with a wind chill factor of probably about 10. Yeah. So it's nice and crisp. It is. It's lovely. And what are we? January 14th. Like, crazy. Like, in, in Brisbane, we're going to be sweltering again. Sad face. Sad face. Don't want to go home. Don't want to go home. Little echidna. He's crossing the road. Hello. Go a little bit closer from the left. He's over. Just drive over a little bit. He's, he's off the road. Yeah, yeah, he's off the road. He's over here. Now straighten up. Kind of looks weird, a ship driving down the road. It's the spirit of Tasmania coming in for us to go out on. There we go, spirit. Oh. Mania. A little bit windy, a little bit shaky, it's just on my phone. We've got sheep on board. So if we stop halfway through the Tasman. Ah, go! When you come to New Zealand, if you're a ginger beer fan, not New Zealand. Oh, not New Zealand. Where are we? We're in Tasmania. Tasmania. Sorry, getting confused. <laughs>